me again. We're going to look at real time uh, today. I was going to do this in 2.16, um, but uh, my mother got ill and uh, passed away. And so I'm doing it this year. And this is, you know, in that block of time from 2.15 to actually 2.18, 2.19. This is the center, and this really is a key year, uh, especially, of course, with the Revelation 12 sign. Uh, last year, the pyramid was completed. Uh, I will talk about this many times with you. Um, but uh, now that the, uh, the top has come down, the pyramid is completed, uh, we have the star shafts going to line up, and we have the Revelation uh, 12 sign going to happen this fall. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this and run it and uh, I'm going to point out there's an object here. Of course we have our, our dove here. Uh, we have our serpent here. We have this anomaly here that looks like a baby in the womb or a pregnant woman. And so I'm going to run this and, and talk to you a little bit uh, about uh, what I've seen in in the sky. Um, anyway, let's start it. As you can see, it comes in as a dove. Uh, NASA probably would say that this is an asteroid. Uh, I don't believe it because it turns into a cross, uh, and then it turns into an orb. And I'm going to speed it up again. Um, but it will go between uh, the object here and the sun and then it's going to end up over here and then it will um, turn back into a dove again and a cross as it backs out. Um, in my opinion this does not act like a uh, universe, a gravity based universe. What I see is the glory of the Lord. And uh, the heavens do declare this. Uh, I have showed you many pictures of what's going on. Um, as you can see, it's getting ready to back out. It's turned around. Uh, you see the dove again, or the cross, and then it's leaving. Uh, watch the serpent. Then after that, it's going to take its run at the sun and dive in and uh, cause a great eruption. I can tell you I've been watching this for um, gosh a long time. Since 2008 I think I believe I believe is when I started to watch all of these um, satellite and uh, ground telescope images and I can tell you that this is unusual. Uh, this this has not happened uh, in all of the time that I have watched um, SOHO, this is unusual. Um, the serpent used to be on this side. Uh, they said it, NASA said it was a scratch uh, on the lens of SOHO, and I knew very well it wasn't because I would get up next to it and see the eye flares and the cross flare. And late 216, it moved over here. And uh, I think it's preparing for September. Uh, now, is this Satan? No. Uh, and we're going to go through this. Uh, these are, this is the Bible in the sky. Um, that's what this is. It's telling a story. Um, and we're going to go through some of the symbology of the garden. Uh, but just know that things are not what they appear. We have been lied to. And, uh, you know, my journey has been to find the truth. And uh, I think I've, uh, I know a lot that came about uh, this last year. Anyway, uh, I don't want to keep you too long. We're going to come back over this over and over again. And I'm going to tell you the story of the beginning uh, using the symbols that God has put in the heavens and in the sky. Uh, this is to tell the story of who you are and what it's about. Anyway, uh, 
I hope you are going to enjoy me using the desktop this year and showing you real time uh, what I see. And uh, anyway, uh, I hope that if you're not a Christian, you will consider looking for your Creator. Uh, many people. Uh, this is the opportunity you have before big things happen in September, I do believe. Uh, again, I have watched this since 2008. This was never there. It was over here. Uh, all of this has been set up for something else. Uh, this never happened in 2008. It didn't start happening until that anomaly started showing up. And then when it moved over here, that's when it began to really change. And so something is getting ready to happen. Uh, honestly, I can tell you that. And it probably is the return of the Creator. I know a lot of people talk about aliens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over that as well. Anyway, enjoy, uh, you know, this dove coming in, <laughs> and uh, I hope you stick around, because uh, I have a lot of interesting things to tell you. So, uh, I love you in the Lord. Uh, take care. See you later.